guys, welcome back. One of my subscribers, Elle, asked me about three color blends and I told her I would do a video about them. Now, I've addressed this in the past, but it's always good for review. And I also came up with 15 brand new three color blends that actually work and won't turn to mud. So let me explain the process of how to do a three color blend and then we'll go on to um, me giving you the blends that I have done for you. So here you have your primary colors, your red, your yellow, and your blue. Every color that exists is created by blending these three colors. So you have your red and your yellow, and then you have something called secondary colors, and that would be your orange, your violet, and your green. So your red and your yellow make the orange. We learned this in primary school. Your red and your blue make your violet or your purple. And your yellow and your blue make your greens. When it comes to tr uh, three color blends, everything that combines the red, the yellow, and the blue together will make brown. And when a color looks good together, it creates less brown. And by brown, I'm calling it mud. And why am I calling it mud? Because it's not attractive. Now, unlike paint, we don't have the ability to completely blend up a pencil. We can blend up the top layers of a pencil, but more than likely you're not going to blend everything together to get a, uh, a brown that is consistent. So you may have a little bit of a darker over here and a little bit lighter here. You're not going to get a consistent color like you would if you were mixing a paint. So it's better to use the browns that are provided, and those are the umbers, the siennas, the chocolate, the... Um, the burnt okras, those colors that are prov provided by the companies that create the uh, pencils. When you're making mud, usually you've blended up too many of these colors together, and then all of a sudden, it's just going to turn ugly. When you think you're really going to get, I mean, you, you mix two colors that you think is going to turn something completely different, and I'm going to show you why. So here you have your tertiary colors. Your tertiary colors are you are created by blending your secondary colors. So you have your primary, your secondary, and then when you start blending in, in between, you're gonna have your tertiary colors. So here you have a yellow and a green. You're gonna get a tertiary color that's in between the yellow and the green. But what happens if you mix a yellow and a purple? Well, that's when you think you're gonna get this really beautiful color mixture and you end up with mud. It's not a clean color. So there are certain, certain colors that you want to just try to avoid to keep your, or use them in small amounts and in the proper places. Because there are times that you do want a muddy color. In a small area, you're doing um, a landscape. It's perfectly okay. As you gain experience, you learn where you can add in your mixture colors and which colors make better mixtures. But that takes practice. So anybody that's like a beginner should really be staying away from the three color blends unless you know exactly what is going to react. And that's why I developed the um, Sam W system is for beginners and some in intermediate to see what happens when these colors blend and to have it out on the sheet. I'm gonna leave a link to the, the CMW system uh, in the card up above so that you can have an idea of what's in that system. The trick to three color blending is to know what's in a pencil. Here we have peacock green. 
and we're going to look at peacock green. Now, it's green. It's going to have yellow, and it's going to have blue. But if you look at the color itself, as I'm blending some of it out, I'm trying to stretch out so that you can see. You're going to have more blue in this than the yellow. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to blend. I want something with, let's pick this goldenrod, which is a good one. Okay, so we have goldenrod here. Now, green and you're looking at this is a yellow should be over here and that would make a clean color, but really it doesn't because in the green, in this goldenrod, it's a secondary, it's a tertiary color actually, and you're going to hail towards the red. Once you mix that red and green together, you're going to get brown. So you innocently go to use this color and blend it up. And I'm trying to create it and get a good blend going so you can actually see what I'm talking about as it's turning the mud color. Okay, so right here is where it's very blended. And you can see this is not an attractive color. This is not a, a, a burnt okra or it's not a chocolate. It's not a solid brown. Here I have a dark brown that you can compare it to. So it's a brownish color, but it's not a clean brown. It's not a pretty brown. So those are the things that you want to avoid when you're doing three color blends. You don't want to make mud. And that happens when you're mixing your tertiary colors and you start going completely across the color wheel. So that's the premise behind your three color blend is to avoid making the mud. And as I said before, that's why I developed the color system is so that you don't hit that mud stage. So what I've done now is I've taken 15 different combinations and put them together so at least you have a, a, a base that you know that this these three co uh, pencil combinations are safe. And if you look at what they're created using, you'll see that they're the safe colors. Now, what do I mean by safe? Analogous colors. If I mix this with this with this, three colors perfectly aligned on the wheel, it's safe. If I mix this, this, and this, we're safe. If I mix this, this, and this, we're safe. So I'm gonna show you the 15 new color combinations. They're real pretty. They're all safe to mix and they could be added to um, your three color blends on your paperwork. Let's begin the color blending. Thank you. 